and welcome back to another Briar customization video! Today we will be using this little unicorn stable mate. I really love this pose, and I think we can make her even fancier. For this custom, I want to make her into a pegasus, inspired by one of my favorite birds, the barn swallow. I promise it's not just because it has barn in its name, but coincidentally my other favorite bird is a barn owl. But these little guys are just so cute, and I see them everywhere in the summer. So the first thing to do was to prep the model. I sanded down the logo and any seams off camera. I used 250 and 400 grit sandpaper. Of course it won't be much of a pegasus without some wings. So luckily I had these that are the perfect size. I actually saved them off of a broken Hercules pegasus ornament that I was throwing away last Christmas. They are simple and probably wouldn't be too hard to sculpt with epoxy, but keeping an eye out for any toys or ornaments that you can harvest for wings is a good idea. I drill through the tops of the shoulders. I want the wire to be able to go straight through for more strength. I did end up making these holes a little bit too far up, but I just drilled another one in later and filled this with epoxy. Next I can drill into the wings. I try and go as far up as I can to have as much strength as possible. I put them onto the model to measure where to bend the wire. Then I can bend it with some pliers. Here is where I realized the wings sat too far up once they had wire in them, so I drill in the other hole. This is why it's important to keep checking as you go before you make anything permanent. One other little modification I wanted was to make her rearing. This model is really begging to be rearing, but the back leg is slightly off for that, so the front leg has to touch the ground. Well, not anymore. I cut into the leg with a little jewelry saw so that I could heat it up with an embossing gun and move it down. I test it to make sure it stands right and make any adjustments as needed. I think I also bent the other back leg a little bit as well. Now I can mix up my JB Weld glue and put all the pieces in place. Make sure to really get a lot on there for maximum coverage. Once the wings are on, I use masking tape to hold them in place while the glue dries. I also put whatever was laying around under the wings to help keep them propped up. You can also use hot glue as a temporary hold and just peel it off once the strong glue completely hardens. Once that was all dry, I could start adding the Aves epoxy. I start by filling that leg back in. I place small pieces and then smooth it into the leg with my silicone tool with 70% rubbing alcohol. Next I fill in that hole and sculpt some of the flowing mane back over it. I press it on with this cuticle tool, and then I can blend and sculpt it. Next I will be building up where the wings touch the back. First I focus on adding the strength and building the general shape. Then I can cut out the feather shapes and place them on.
I also fill in a little hole where my drill went through. Oops. I try not to press too hard on the wings at this point, but the glue seems to be doing its job. With all that hardened overnight, it's time to prime. I'm using Dupacolor Sandable Primer. Definitely use a respirator when spraying anything. I admit I did have to completely strip this because it was a little too humid out and it never dried even after a week. But I used some purple power to strip it off and reprimed in less humidity and all is okay. For painting I will be using my airbrush, but you can absolutely get the same effect with pastels or even pigmented eyeshadow. If you go that route I recommend painting a base of the lightest color in your design first with acrylic. But for this I'll be doing that with the airbrush. Barn Swallows have a light underside that can range from bright white to an orangey tan shade. I'll be making hers a cream color. I do a few layers of white to help the color show up and to give it dimension. I use a hair dryer on low to speed up the drying. Now I can go in with this pretty blue. I have to hold on to her so she doesn't blow away, but I try not to hold on to one spot too long so the paint won't rub off. The horn is the safe spot, since I will be painting that later. I work around it slowly. A few areas are hard to get without spraying it onto the cream. It has a nice transition shade where I spray a little over the light areas. Next I use the same blue but mix in a lot of black so I can shade. I go over the crevices and legs to bring out the shapes of the sculpture. If you use pastels, an eyebrow brush is really good for this. I go back in and fix up some light areas that got overspray, and now I can add that iconic orange throat. Orange and blue are complementary colors, so this will really pop. Once it dried overnight, I sealed it with Mooster Super Clear Matte Spray, and we can add the details. First, I did clean up the chest with a few layers of watered down acrylic. Then I can make more of a pattern with the orange. I wanted to simulate feathers. I use water to blend out the paint. I add little highlights and details with a thin brush.
also add the eyes, making sure to give them a tiny eye shine. I give that another seal with the matte spray. Another thing I love about Barn Swallows is they're actually iridescent in the sun. So with shimmery eyeshadow, I will make her sparkly. I use a camera lens duster to blow any extra away. It doesn't really seem like I'm being that careful here, but I definitely was making sure to not get any on the cream, especially since it was all over my hands. If any does get on the parts you don't want, you can always use a kneaded eraser, but it's a little bit harder with bright colors and shimmer. This had an almost dry brush effect where it brought out the highlights of the mane. I even added some gold shimmer to the face and neck. Off camera, I sealed that all with tester spray lacquer. It's important to seal the sparkles with a gloss spray so it will stay shimmery. This also means that it has to be the last thing you do before the final seal. But you can still use enamels after sealing, so that's our last step. I'm using tester's enamel to give her a shiny gold horn. And with that done, let's see the final result. Here's the before. And here is the after. I absolutely love how the shimmer turned out. She is so pretty in the sun. I think she definitely embodies the little swallow pretty well. She even tried to fly away a few times when I was taking pictures outside. Let me know in the comments if I should make a barn owl pegasus. I think that would be quite challenging. Also, just for fun, let me know what your favorite bird is. I hope you like this quick little video, and maybe you can apply something to your own customs. And as always, thank you for watching. Make sure to boop that like button and subscribe for more projects.